Vasavi here. I am here with yet another problem. Let's see how to work this out in this video. So the question is, in triangle PQR, right angled at Q, PR plus QR is 25 centimeters and PQ is 5 centimeters. Determine the values of sin P, cos P, tan P. Now to find the sin P, cos P and tan P, we should know the three sides of the triangle. Triangle P, Q and R. The Q is at 90 degree. Okay. Right angle that Q. That is what they say. So I have put Q in the right angles. They have given you P R plus Q R equals 25 okay but then they haven't mentioned what is PR separately and QR separately so we cannot put that in this triangle right but they've given you one more equal information that is PQ equals 5 centimeters okay PQ is given as 5 so that we can write here here we know as per the Pythagorean formula your c square is equal to a square plus b square. c square is p. This is your c, right? And let's take these two short sides as a and b. So now your c, we don't know what it is. So I just, I just write it by its name, okay? I call it p r square. p r square is equal to what is a? A is 5, right? So this is 5 squared plus B. B is not given. So I take it as QR squared. Let me bring the QR to this side. So you subtract QR from both sides. What do you have finally? Here this side you have PR squared minus QR squared is equal to 5 squared. Because this QR plus QR and minus QR will get cancelled. So now, this is this PR squared and QR squared. You can take it as A squared minus B squared, right? This PR squared minus QR squared is in the form a square minus B square. Okay. So we know the formula for A square minus B square. It is A square minus B square is equal to A plus B times A minus B. Okay. So let me apply that here. P R square minus Q R square. I am going to write it as P R plus Q R times PR minus QR. Okay. Just as we do with this A square minus B square is A plus B into A minus B. Same thing I am doing here with PR and QR. Okay. So I am going to substitute that here. So here instead of PR square and QR square I would write now they have given you what is PR plus QR here, right? You can find it here. So, just plug in the value. PR plus QR is equal to 25, right? So, this is 25 times PR minus QR equals 25. To get rid of this 25 on your left, divide throughout by 25. So the right side also you divide by 25. So this 25 and 25 will get cancelled. Here too that gets cancelled and it becomes 1. So finally you have got PR minus QR equals 1. Okay? 
Now, the first uh, value which they have given you, I take it as equation 1. Okay, that is PR plus QR equals 25. I take it as equation 1. And this one which I found out now, I take it as equation 2. Now, using the simultaneous equation, we are going to find out what is PR. So, as per equation 1, you have PR plus QR equals 25. And the second equation says PR minus QR equals 1. So, let's solve this. I'm going to add both. Okay, I'm going to add. When I add this QR plus QR and minus QR would get cancelled. So, I would have 2PR. PR plus PR is 2PR is equal to 25 plus 1 is 26. Therefore, dividing throughout by 2, I get PR is equal to this 2 and 2 will get cancelled, right? Here 2 goes 13 times. So you got your PR as 13. You have P, Q and R. They had already given you PQ is given as 5. Now you know PR is 13. The highest side is 13. Plug this PR in 1. Okay. Substitute PR in equation in equation 1. Okay. So what happens? PR is 13. 13 plus QR equals 25. So your QR would be take away 13 from both sides. You get your QR as 12. So this will get cancelled. So your QR, therefore your QR is equal to 12 centimeters. Okay, now you got your PR and the QR. It is easy to find out. The, what has been asked? They have asked you cos P, sin P and tan P. Let's do that here. So you have the picture there and your QR is 12 now. So your angle is at P. Let's write down. What is your sin P? Sin P equals opposite over hypotenuse. So which is op op opposite side? That's for P, 12 is opposite and hypotenuse is 13 and cos P would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So here your adjacent side is adjacent to P. The angle is at P. So the side adjacent to angle P is 5. That is PQ which is 5 over the hypotenuse side 13. And finally, they had also asked you what is tan P. Tan P is opposite over adjacent. That is, what is your opposite side? Opposite to P is 12 over 5. Adjacent is 5. Okay? So, we have found out all the values which they have asked. So, hope you understood all this problem very well. Thank you. See you in the next class. Bye.